Hey girlies, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Clea, also known as Clea Marine. And as y'all remember that title, we are going to be doing a quick weave tutorial. I love me a good quick weave, okay? Even though quick weaves aren't quick, they're easy so that's what makes it like feel like it's quick i guess the main part that really be taking the longest is for the cap to dry but other than that it's pretty easy and i'm gonna be showing y'all how i do i've done quick weave multiple times so yeah i'm gonna be showing y'all everything we need for today's video first things first we have the hair i will be using organic bundles i have them in the lengths 14 16 and 18 and i got them from my local beauty supply store this is what it looks like the shake and go organic i vouch by this hair y'all can use this it will not tangle for y'all I don't know about like the longer lengths about it, but I know that the 14, 16, and 18 has never tangled up for me. Like when I say never, I will show you at the end of this video how like you can run your fingers through it. It doesn't tangle at all. And I've reused this hair at least like two or three times in multiple quick weaves. So that's how you know you can really use this hair. Next, we have a black bald cap. I recommend black bald caps because it's just you won't be able to see it where your part is especially for me i have like thinner hair not thinner but like fine textured hair so when my hair is straight it's not as like thick so it would be easier if i had like a really light brown ball cap you would be able to see where it's like cut at so i recommend black because your hair is black next we have heat protectant this is the heat protectant that i would use my hair is already straight so i won't really need it too much but if you're starting from curly hair you're gonna use heat protectant and you're gonna blow dry your hair um i wouldn't recommend straightening your whole head i would just say blow dry it and leave the part out and then flat iron only the part that you're leaving out next we have the protective shield this is what's gonna hold your cap down make it not move and protect your hair next we have the glue that i use this one i actually have two bottles this is just the new one i got but i have two of them just to make sure that i don't run out so this was we will be using the glue the tracks down a rasso comb is needed as well makes your life much easier and lastly you're going to be needing like some type of flat iron or curling iron depending on what style you want to do if you want it to be straight then you're going to use a flat iron if you want it to be curly you're going to use a curling iron i have both i'm going to be i don't know yet i think i'm going to probably straighten it out a little bit because i don't want it to be too wavy i want it to be more wavy towards the bottom so i do have the flat iron in here too so that's all our items let's get right into this video so my hair is already straight so that kind of makes my life much easier i'm doing this on an old silk press that i've had so it's kind of giving like fresh like blowout type vibe so i'm going to be doing a middle part middle parts are just it just gives on my face like i guess the structure of my head and my face it just looks really good with middle parts so first i go in and i just make the middle part so this way we are kind of having the foundation i guess not the foundation but more so of just what we want it to look like this is how we want our middle part to look like if you're doing a side part you're going to do a side part but i'm doing a middle part so I just parted my hair down the middle. I want a pretty deep middle part because it just looks more natural like that rather than a middle part that stops right here. Um, and then I go at least like an inch and a half. So like from the middle part down, it's probably like an inch. And I am gonna go like I'm parting another middle part. This is one piece of our leave out. Oh, I forgot to add, you probably will wanna use clips clips make it much easier so i'm gonna clip this out to the side i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side now the most important part i would say is parting out that back section so you did the two sides right here now you want to part out where you're gonna have to cover the back tracks so kind of just in a circular motion in the back it doesn't have to be perfect because i obviously cannot see so i just kind of feel it out another tip that i've got from watching many youtube videos is taking a rat tail comb putting it down 
and then putting your hair over it. And if you can see the rat tail comb, that means you need to take out more hair. If you can't see it, that means you've taken out enough. It also looks like your hair texture really depends on how much leave out you take out. I have to take out more because my hair is like not thick at all. This seems pretty good. Now me, I like for my um, middle parts, I want to be able to flow and stuff. So I usually part out the side, burn, not side burns, but the sides as well. All right, so this is the braid done. I went ahead and just braided the leave out too, just to make it a whole much easier. So I went ahead and also oiled my scalp with wild growth oil. If you don't know, this is the key to long hair. This is the key to hair growth, I should say. Like, it grows my hair super duper fast. I've kind of been slacking with it, but I'm getting right back to it. We're gonna put oil our scalp because we want this to also still be a protective hairstyle at the end of the day. So this is how my breakdown is looking. I just went ahead and bobby pinned it up just so it's out the way. Now I'm gonna take my ball cap and we're gonna put it on. This is where like the most time consuming part comes because you have to let this um, glue dry. If you just put it on your entire head, some people put it over their ears and cut them out. I say put them behind so you can glue this part down. It will make it feel much more secure to your head. Here I can see where um, the part is, but I can't really see back here too much, but I can feel it. Like that's why I say you should braid it. But I can feel it right here. This is where I leave that is and we don't want to get that part. So usually when it comes to putting this glue down, I use my fingers. It goes much um, faster to do it this way. So I'm going to just show y'all a time lapse of me doing this process because it takes a really long time. <laughs> Okay, so I coated the entire thing with the protective shield. It's currently drying right now, but usually what I like to do is go in with the glue and just do the perimeters like all right here and you know the perimeters right there just so it's like extra secure before I cut it. So if I cut it, it's not going to budge at all. It doesn't matter if these really, the middle part really budges because if it's secured on the edges, it's not really going to move. So. I just take my glue and then I go in with my finger and just really spread it out. Okay, girly, so our foundation is finally dry, so it's time to cut. So you're gonna get some scissors and you're gonna lift the cap up above your hair so you're not just like cutting your hair. So you're just gonna lift it up and cut it straight down the middle first. And then you can just go through the perimeter of it. That's so one side, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay girlies, now that we have cut the um, rest of the cap off, now we're gonna get our bundles and start going on the tracks. This right here is the easiest part. All you have to do is take your longest track, which for me would be my 18 inch, and that's the one we're gonna start with. So it can be like layers. So this one right here is 18. I usually only use like two bundles. So the third one I usually just do a ponytail with. So this is what it's looking like fresh out the pack. This is not no synthetic hair. What type of synthetic hair is this? It is no tangles whatsoever and it's bouncy the shine isn't too bad i also do have like a really bright light on it right now so so it's looking like it's pretty thick these wefts aren't thick though which is not a problem to me because i actually like thinner wefts thinner wefts help you get in more hair so now i'm just cutting this off the bundle now we're gonna start the gluing process. So I have to cut this little piece off as well. So now I'm just unraveling the webs, making them single webs so I can start to apply 
the hair so i just take the weft and just place it on there measure how much i want it to stop right there so i'm gonna take my finger this is where i want it i spread the hair apart and i cut it right there once i cut it i'm gonna take i usually glue them on a specific side um not saying that gluing on a specific side does anything i just do that <laughs> now we're gonna take our glue and just put glue on the weft Now once I put glue all on the um, the track, the weft of the track like that, I don't really let it dry. I just put it straight on there right where I wanted it to be placed and just hold it there. Then I start to, you know, press it in on the other spots. And I will repeat the same process all throughout my head. So I'm going to do most of it and I'll come back and re-explain again. so we just finished the first um bundle of hair and this is how far we've gotten pretty much like halfway we got like all the way up here so we have like that much to do and it took me 15 minutes so we're gonna go in with the next bundle which is the 16 inch i told you in the beginning of this video that i only ever use two bundles so I'm not really surprised with that. We're gonna go in with the 16 and repeat that exact same process. Okay, girly, so I finally finished gluing in all the tracks. It is very full. Like, this is the fullest I've ever had it. You can see all the tracks are glued in. It's very, like, a subtle curl in it. I really like it. If this is the fullest I've ever had it before. I've never had it this full. So, now that we have it all glued in, we're just going to, like, leave it alone for a second. Just let everything dry up. Um, I'm gonna tie it so we can work on this leave out and unbraid these. Oh, by the way, I used almost all of the second um bundle pretty much. This is all I had left, it was really like a whole track in these little pieces right here. So, basically, I used two whole bundles for this. Now, I'm just gonna comb this all out. Now, I'm going to heat up my flat iron my mom currently has our other flat iron so i'm just gonna use this one while that's heating up i'm just gonna section it all out so i like to work in sections we're gonna spray a little bit of heat protectant now i'm about to just do that same step to all my hair Okay, girly, this is what it looks like when I straighten my hair with it. You can obviously see, like, my hair is straight. 
and this hair kind of has like some curls in it so i'm thinking i'm gonna add some curls i did go in and kind of like straighten the roots of the hair just so it can kind of you know go from straight to like curly at the bottom i am gonna put some curls in my hair just to give it some body at the top and on all honesty this really took me about like three hours to do which is not bad at all. Let's see the movements. And you cannot see any tracks, like at all. curls to it and we'll be finished here Okay, so I'm done curling. I'm gonna let this side kind of like, you know, be pinned up for a second. This side has been pinned up for some time, so I'm just gonna run my fingers through it. Okay, girlies, this is what it looks like once I've curled my hair to match. It looks so good. Like, it looks so good. Like, I really ate. I love the thickness and the fullness. I did not curl this hair. This is just how it came. And it looks really, really good. I love it so much. Like, it's giving i didn't really do too much because it is 12 o'clock so i didn't do my edges i want to put a braid like right here like a fishtail right here which y'all see me do that in my daily vlog i guess that i'm also recording so stay tuned for that video okay girlies i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did remember to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next video bye